Okay guys, we've got this nice lovely little beat here. And uh, yeah guys, so now I'm gonna look for some other samples. I'll just try and find a little nice little vocal that probably would work well with that guys. Uh, let's have a look quickly and see. The science of capitalism, which you teach to the youth on the streets today. The okay, let's edit that a bit. The, si the science of capitalism, which you teach. Teach the youth. Teach the youth. Teach to the youth on the streets today. Teach to the youth on the streets today. Teach to the youth on the streets today. That's interesting, but I could do with like a singy vocal, man. I'm gonna look for some singy, singer fella. Can't you feel it? Maybe not quite well after, but like, let's see. Turn it down a bit. So in here, you can, on the, you've got the instrument par parameters here. You can turn down stuff, turn it up, look. It didn't sound too bad. So, all right. So here now, see, we've got the tracks all fulled up now. So what are we going to do? Okay, so... You're probably wondering what's going to happen. So here's what, here's how I used to write. So from here, I used to go block, copy. So I copy this, all this, all these four tracks together now, are known as a block, right? A building block, a block. So you copy that block. You go to block, new, append, and what that'll do is it creates another block in the song. So if you look, right, on this part here where it says here, see B block number. And then if you press shift and up or down on your Amiga, it will then make a, a, a blank block. And then all you do is go block, paste. So you paste exact, an exact copy and then you kind of delete out what you don't want or add whatever it is. So you, as in our case, it's this vocal. Oh my gosh, I lost, lost, lost the pitch now. Okay, so I think that's the pitch, the right pitch there. I'm going to go with that. Maybe like do a little, let me see what, see what happens if we put a little loop on it, if it'll sound any interest, more interesting. Yeah, let's see what that sounds like. All right, so now we've got that little element there. We're going to copy it, and we're going to go new block, append again, uh, we go forward, and we're going to paste. There we go. So we've got our little singy bit, right? And now we need a, maybe a little variation somewhere now, right? So we get that and then we go to, to get rid of that singing bit. And then maybe put that little teach the youth vocal. Teach to the youth, teach to the youth on the street. Teach to the youth on the streets today. Teach to the youth on the streets. 
streets today. Teach to the youth on the streets today. Teach to the youth on the streets today. So now I put the quantize back on. You call it the quantize the block highlight so you could see where you know you might play the out time or something all right so now i'm gonna do a little edit here now because now i want to just vary it because now i'm going to actually before i do that right let me just grab this here and then i'm gonna go new append because i want to keep this section the same uh and just slightly edited so I'm gonna go back and then now I'm gonna go back to this bit and now I'm gonna edit this right see we're kind of pre preparing pre pre planning how the songs gonna go yeah in our head so we're writing as we go along um, and then we're gonna arrange it later but obviously it will arrange in sequential order because we're kind of thinking you know on an arrangement tip in our head so now I'm gonna need a little something cool right so we got let's turn off the uh the, the the loop off that one and then probably now i'm going to show you how to take a sample into into a few parts so what we're going to do what we're going to do because this okay because this sample is kind of like uh, so early in the actual instrument uh, panel, I'll kind of want to have two samples in sequence. So have the samples next to each other. Because what I'm about to do is I'm about to have the, I'm about to cut this into two parts. And the thing is, I don't want to have to have one part, one instrument number one, and then the second part that I need to on instrument 11. Because I'm just going to be sitting here flicking through the instruments like mad to get to from where I want. So I have to do a little bit of management here now, right? So I've got, so I've got that snare. I've got that cymbal with that awful pinch at the end. So we clean that up, turn the loop on. Okay, so that's a bit better. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is you've got um, sample to buffer and buffer to sample. The buffer is kind of like the computer's limited remember, rem memory to remember. So I'm gonna go sample to buffer. Uh oh, what did I just do? No, I just done it the wrong way around. I was supposed to go sample to buffer and I went buffer to sample. So you really gotta be careful because there is no undo here, guys. <laughs> ah. All right, so that kind of balls it up. Right, so I don't, and when's the last time I saved? I don't even know when I saved. One thing, guys, keep saving when you're using these old school things. In, in fact, any computer is the golden rule, right? So now I'm going to have to go back to my Amen bits now. I need to get this Amen, this Amen a Ridge bit back now. Right, so let me go and get this Amen a Ridge back. Anyway, I wanted to put it here. I was going to show you how to kind of copy it and put it here. But you know what? Seen as it's gone pear shaped now, I'm just gonna go back to load, and I think I got that out of the 94 breaks pack that I put together. So let's go and find that so from here. Uh, sound library, um, 94 breaks, 94 breaks. There you go. A minor ridge. Oh, that's more like the symbol there, but look. Ooh. I kind of like that too, you know. So I might keep that. Me being you know. Amen hoarder here now. So I'm pretty sure it's Amen original symbol. It must be this. There you go. Right. Okay. So we got it. So now we're back here. So let's let's do what we were supposed to be doing. So we're going to get that. We're going to clean it up. Bosh, bosh. And we're going to cut that there. Right. So we cut that. Yeah. So we're going to now separate these two. So now we're going to cut that. Right. Now we're going to move here. Then we're going to go buffer to sample. Sample to buffer, buffer to sample. God damn. There we go. Whoa. Okay, so we've got that. So now we've got them two separate. And you could probably even just get that loop and maybe see if we can just loop that symbol over a little bit. Do something crazy with it. Oh, yeah, lovely. That's what I'm talking about. See, that? Nah, that's what you call way ahead of its time. Because there's no way you could do that on screen back in the day without spending a fortune on 
uh, comment down below if you know. I know the Atari had the Falcon and some other setup, right? But comment down below if you know an early, early, early way you could edit that on the screen without using a sampler. 